Hello YouTube, Jojo here, coming to you guys with my first proper Battlefield 1 video. Before we get started, I'd just like to point out there's a brand new intro, I'm sure you saw it at the start of the video, and I'd love you guys' feedback, tell me what you like about it, what you don't like, and what I could change, just so that I can have the best one possible. So, the topic of the video today is why you should almost always be aggressive in Battlefield 1. For those of you that have been subscribed since Planet Side 2, you'll know I've already said this in my 5 tips to improve your killing potential in Planet Side 2 video, however, I thought I'd flesh it out and give a bit more detail for the Battlefield crowd. Essentially, what I'm going to be talking to you about is the fact that if you're more aggressive and you're attacking your enemies, so peeking out of cover to shoot them or just straight up running at them, you're going to have a higher chance of killing them than if you were to defensively wait for them to come to you. This is mostly due to a fun little thing called client-side hit detection. Basically, if on your screen you saw your bullet hit the enemy, according to the server, your bullet hit the enemy. This has an interesting effect, as you need to send where you are to the server, and then the server needs to send where you are to everybody else, and in the time it takes for this to happen, you will have moved again. This essentially makes everybody see a ghost of you that is about a fifth of a second behind what you're actually doing. And this is why, and I hope you will notice this sometimes, you'll get into cover and then you'll die right as you got into cover. Because on everyone else's screen, they're still seeing that ghost walk into cover and they managed to shoot you before you made it. Now, this has been around for as long as client-side hit detection has been around. And I'm by far not the first person to know this and I would never claim to be. In fact, I learned this from a video by Rel, he's a Planet Side 2 YouTuber and he's absolutely fantastic, so I'm going to link you to his video explaining this. Now this is good to know, however there is a very very practical application of this and that is that if everyone's seeing a version of you that's 0.2 seconds behind what you're doing and everyone can only shoot at a version of you that is 0.2 seconds behind what you are doing, if you rush your enemy you have a fifth of a second where they can't see you and you can see them and you can really capitalize on them. Now the background footage may not show this very well as I'm playing medic and you tend to keep enemies at arm's length as medic. However what you will notice me doing is very confidently equipping my revolver and rushing into buildings to kill enemies. Now this is because due to the auto revolver's rate of fire it takes two shots to kill an enemy and about 0.45 of a second to fire two shots. Now if I have a 0.2 second lead, that means that my enemies only have a quarter of a second to react and then shoot me back. And this means that I can obliterate enemies hardly taking any damage. Luckily for all of you, I also managed to nab a clip of what it's like having this used against you and it'll show you just how effective it is. As you can see, I take a bullet of damage before I can even see my enemy and he quickly follows up with one or two more shots and I stand absolutely no chance. So just to conclude the video and summarize my main points, be aggressive, especially in close quarters. Do not be afraid to peek round the corner when you have slightly lower health and shoot at your enemies because the chances are you're going to get that kill especially if you're using the automatico or a shotgun but even with like I pointed out a pistol like the revolver you're still going to be absolutely brutal on the battlefield. Now I hope this helps some of you out maybe some of you already knew it but for those of you that didn't try incorporating it into your gameplay I guarantee you will feel the result. As always thank you for watching guys if you found this interesting entertaining or helpful or anything like that please give it a like it really helps more people find my videos and if you have any thoughts on what I've said or just thoughts on the channel in general please feel free to leave a comment detailing so and I'll try to get back to you. Finally if you haven't done so already and want to keep up with my videos as they get uploaded please subscribe. Thanks for watching guys goodbye from Jojo.